Hello everyone, welcome back to Popcorn in Bed. I'm so happy to be here with you today. It is War Movie Wednesday. I mean, I'm watching this on a Wednesday. It's up in the air whether it actually gets posted on a Wednesday, but roll with it, okay? This is our third month of War Movie Wednesday. I've so far watched Good Morning Vietnam, loved it, Crimson Tide, loved it, and today I'm watching Enemy at the Gates. On Patreon, we have a Patreon built app that people use to request movies. I filtered the war genre and took the top four excluding Vietnam war movies. I'm gonna do a separate poll when I feel ready for that. We had Enemy at the Gates, Doctor Strange Love, 13 Hours, The Secret, Soldiers of Benghazi, and Zero Dark 30. And Enemy at the Gates was our winner. I know that Jude Law is in this, and I think someone said he plays a Russian, which is a bit odd to me, but we're rolling with that one too. This was a YouTube poll, not on Patreon, so if you liked voting, on polls and that was fun and reading all the comments and seeing what everyone has to say and debate about it you should go check out patreon where there is a lot of that and then we also have liking subscribing and hitting the bell if you're in the mood okay oh I always like anxiously await war movies because I know that they are so important and I leave them feeling mostly usually inspired and grateful for my freedom, but it always is a tough watch. So with that said, here we go. Kid. I have no fear. I'm a big boy now. Now, Vasily! Jude Law. The Holiday. Hey, I know her. She's from Definitely Maybe. Among other things. Standing room only. 1942. Hitler's armies are charging through the heart of the Soviet oh, Union. One last obstacle remains. Stalingrad. Whoa. They're really throwing them in there. Listen to these letters of my Russian mothers to their sons! Are they even like experienced soldiers? Or are they just military age? Get down! <gasps> okay. This is horrible chaos. Oh my gosh. When the one with the rifle gets killed? They do not seem prepared. So this is Hitler's Germany against Russians? Oh gosh! Oh my gosh! They're just running right towards machine guns. What is the... How do you... How are they 
deserting. They're just... Oh my gosh, they're your own people! Stop! They run that way and get shot. They run back to their people and they get shot. That's messed up. Can you go back and recuperate and make a plan? Stop. You're gonna shoot your own soldiers. That does not make sense to me. Didn't take long. Join your German comrades. The Third Reich is not your enemy. Every one of those boys is, um, they have a mom somewhere. There's no value of life. Never will the enemy put his foot on the soil of Stalingrad. They're just shooting at dead bodies for fun? Did Jude Law die? Okay, let's go. Come on, come on. Come on, come on. You should wait till there's an explosion. Did you know the ship? One of these, the boy from the beginning. He's just gonna come over there and. He got him. Holy crap, he does know how to shoot. Dear heavens. He's like, I'm gonna stick with you. His name is Vasily Zaitsev. Like thousands before him who came to us to come and start in school. They're speaking in British accents. Maybe they're just doing it. What do you think? Comrade Commissar has been over generous. Are the British fighting with the Russians? I have artillery, aircraft, tanks. What did I have? The sacred duty to resist. I have to report to the boss. Perhaps you'd prefer to avoid the red tape. Is he telling him to kill himself? Please don't do that. Why are we doing this? My name is Khrushchev. I've come to take things in hand here. This city is Stalingrad. Stalin! Grad. If the Germans capture this city, the entire country will collapse. I want our boys to stop their pants! Why don't you go out and see the thousands of dead on the streets, sir? Give them hope. Please don't kill him. We must publish the army newspaper again. We need to make examples. But examples to follow. We need our heroes. Do you know any heroes around here? Yes, comrade. I know one. Vasily. Just promote me to the general staff. And you, to sniper division. Although, oh, no, admittedly, I did all the hard work. Oh, yeah. You're very lucky I can't fight back. Careful of my glasses, sorry, sir. Oh, oh, I'm famous! I'm famous! This is my question. Give us the wolves. Now he should scratch an example to us all. Do the Russian people like Stalin? Seven dot tanks. Fifty-four. They volunteer to join the sniper division. I am a stone. I want to watch that. Please no. The great Vasily Saitsev. Bless you. We pray for you every day. My parents used to store furniture down here before the war. Where does all this mail come from? From all over the country, Mrs. Filipa. So there's still civilians in Stalingrad. Right, let's start with the miners. I thank you for your letter of praise. Praise. R-A-I-S-E. You're interested in German literature, Mrs. Filipa. Honey, expectations of your offer to me. I saw your picture in the paper. He saw her on the train. Thank you for everything you're doing. Tanya's like a daughter to me. All these books are hers. Shouldn't we, uh... Yes, let's continue. Your offer to name your mind after me is a great honor. H-O-N. Yes, I know. Shall we try and make the point that I'm not the only one fighting? Excellent idea, Miss uh, No, Ken. Stop embarrassing him. Tell me if I'm going too fast. No, you're not going you sure? too fast. Why don't you get some rest? Tomorrow, we may not be around to write back.
German headquarters. I was expecting someone else. Certainly not someone so prestigious. My army is not designed for this kind of fighting. How are you going to go about finding this young Russian? I'll fix it so that he's the one who finds me. Third floor, fourth window from the left. See him? Yeah, I see him. I didn't see him. What are we looking at? Let's go get his dog tag. Not worth it. Oh, <gasps> he didn't get him. He only got his helmet. They've got a sniper too. It's a trap. I know. He's like, where would I? It's that guy. Those were his cigarettes. Sheesh. What else can we bomb? They're coming straight for us! We have to get out of here! Stay away from me! The military! Your helmet? They're gonna bomb their own guy, aren't they? I've seen that right in the Have you? I know him well for Don't say that. His name is Koenig. He knows everything about you. They've sent him here to kill you. To find you. Some reassurance, perhaps, Commissar? A nobleman from Bavaria who hunts deer against the shepherd boy from the Urals who poaches wolves. <laughs> that is the essence of class struggle. I'm glad you're so happy. He had all the advantages. Next time you'll be even. She's been transferred. They both like her. It's not gonna go well. <laughs> you look very smart in your new uniform. Make sure they don't take it back once you've finished. Yeah. From what Conrad Danilov tells me, you're going to win. It's time. That guy. I love this little fellow! Is it true that you volunteered for the front? How many fascists are you killed today? Her out of One more question, no. please. Tell it to the boss. He likes good hunting stories. We're going to see Stalin right now? Look at him with pride. She's looking at you. The whole country is looking at you. Forgive me, Grandfather. Oh my gosh. It's not the wolf that chooses the hunting ground, but I'm sure your grandfather taught you that. In this case, I'm the game. Today, what we're going to do is lure the wolf out of his lair to where we want him to be. Oh, that's cool. Like a submarine. You're the one whose life is valuable. You go first. No, no. We take it in turns. Ivan, you fix it up! Fix it up! Shot? These are new pants. I just took them off a captain from the 251st yesterday. I'm here to the wire. 160 meters, right? 155. Let's relocate. I would wear, like, I'd ask them to get helmets that go down, like, helmet and then some metal neck flaps. What were you doing in Germany, huh? It was Comrade Stalin who sent me there. Confess, spy bastard. Bang, bang, bang! Well, there wasn't a sickle, but there was a hammer. Knocked out all my teeth. That's the land of socialism and universal bliss for you. The Soviet Union. He's your talking? repair guy. I got him. He's just a repair guy. It's about soup time, isn't it? Oh. And try not to spill it all on your way back. I've spent a lot of time during this reaction in my head wondering if I'm missing something about the British and the Soviets. We've just taken a prisoner who may interest you. And I think they're just doing British accents and just like rolling with it. Which building is he in? There is no way I know that. He jumps from one to the next. Put him in one of our uniforms. Oh my gosh. See? Stubborn. When you get an idea to move it. That was Voss of Law. Let's see if our customer has arrived. Major Koenig sees him. Major Koenig doesn't fire. He knows. Because Major Koenig isn't there. Don't do it. Whose turn is it? Mine, I think. No, 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 no. It's your turn to get a hole in your britches. Holy crap. Oh my god. 
gosh, he was just talking, just telling stories. In seconds, it's over. Oh, he's being hunted. That must be... This sniper business has been dragging on too long. What's that little fella of yours up to? Probing, testing the German for weaknesses. Vodka is a luxury we have. Caviar is a luxury we have. Time is not. I assure you, he will succeed. Good. Your destinies are entwined. My father had a premonition all this would happen. You mean the war? He insisted I learnt to use a rifle. I have a favour to ask you. I want to be reassigned. What's happened, Tanya? What's happened? You've promised people a victory I can't deliver. I don't stand a chance against this man. We've got some imbecilic passing us information. Next time, you will be one step ahead of him. I'm getting kind of weird vibes from this guy all of a sudden. I'm scared. Now I have a favor to ask. It's not like firing at a distant shape. It's not just a uniform. It's a man's face. Those faces don't go away. Did he tell you why I asked for the transfer? <laughs> this morning, a list arrived of civilians who'd been sent to Germany. My parents were amongst them. In the middle of a bridge, they bound them together, and then they fired a single shot at each pair to save bullets. The bodies of the ones who died dragged the others under the water. Oh my gosh. Our parents were Jewish? I know they died together. They would have never let themselves be separated. Thank you. What is he doing? Oh no. I know how he leaves the shelter. Is he telling the truth? Good luck, comrade. Please don't be telling the truth, little boy. You loved him. Holy crap, I'm so scared of him. Oh no, he's used to that body there. My gosh, that little boy was telling the truth. This is where he comes. Exactly where he's waiting for. We'll foot walk over the gutter. We'll take him out from behind. So the boy set him up. Oh no. He is outsmarting them, isn't he? Oh crap. You go that way. I'll go around this way. Where's your helmets? His rifle. Go back. Keep your legs. Jeez, they can see everything through those. <gasps> oh my gosh. Come on. He's got the high ground. They both know exactly where each other. Oh, <gasps> he shot the string. Is at risk. We'll end fight today. Tanya, a city was born to fire a gun, is what he knows. You and I were born for a different purpose. If Vasily were here, he would tell you the same thing. Where's Vasily? That's the guy who went back. Oh no. Tell me where he is. Stay into that plug. Holy crap. The kill behind me. Do you see the one? This is what I want you to do. Three, two, one. <gasps> that was a shooting head. He was right where you said he'd be. There he was. He knows he lied. Is there a girl he loves in his village? Here, I know her well. She saw my neighborhood. Sasha. She went to the university. In the forest, the wolf lives for three years, the donkey for nine. Because he's more useful. So I'm a donkey. People like you and them have to survive this. Oh my gosh. Do you survive? I want to work in a factory. My granddad took me to a factory once. There was this man there on a footwalk. The people he was supervising over, they didn't really understand what they were doing. But for him, it was simple, it was clear. And I thought one day, well, I could be that man. Sad. To have a dream you know won't happen. Be the oldest donkey in the forest. Loves him. Danilov loves her. 
Remember in Gangs of New York when Cameron Diaz loves Leo, but Johnny loves Cameron Diaz, and so then Johnny betrays him. Today the whole world is watching these 150 meters there will make Stalingrad the capital. I'm scared that that's going to happen. Your friend, Tanya, have you seen her? She stays over there now, with the snipers. Tell the Major we're sending in all our sharpshooters to the factory. Tell him Vasily will be there. Just like I said. So they got a blanket, maybe? <laughs> that was the most unromantic romantic thing I've ever seen. Okay, Danilov said, tell your friend we're sending in all our sharpshooters to the factory and tell him Vasily will be there. He's trying to get him killed. You have to stop writing about me. I'm not good enough. He's gonna kill me. I've warned you before not to talk like this. This time it's different. If Vasily does get killed, it'll crush the morale. There was dust on the Major's boots. Sasha has the Major convinced he's gone over to the other side. There's only one place where there's dust like that. In the back of the chemical factory. A big heap along the tracks. If something happens to Sasha... You had no right! To use him. He did it of his own accord. As he believes in you! Oh, everything's going wrong. Sasha's in front of the major. You'll be in the middle of an assault. I'm following orders. I suggest you do the same. There's tension here. You'll be fine. Come here. That felt very passy aggressive and like, I'm so jealous I can't breathe of you. I don't want anything to happen to Sasha or Vasily or Tanya. Oh, this isn't very Heidi. There's a dead body on it. Oh man, it must be so hard to stay awake. Vasily! Your reason for being here has ceased to exist. I must ask you for your dock tax. If you fall, you will fall unknown. Please take this war merit cross. Awarded posthumously to my son. If it's confirmed that he's dead, we're sunk. It isn't true. Write it then. Vasily Zaitsev is not dead. What? You won't give up the riverbank. He's not dead, right? I wrote to my mother about you. If there's anything you needed, our family will be there for you. You know I'm here for you. They're saying Vasily is dead. Don't listen to him. He isn't dead. And do you know why? Because I didn't kill him. Because I haven't killed him yet. I'm going to tell you a little secret. But you must swear to me that you won't tell another soul. I found a terrific spot. He's setting you up, Sasha. I also want you to swear to me that you'll stay home where you belong. Good. We've looked everywhere for you. I was curled up in a corner hiding. Where's Tanya? I told you you weren't dead. The Major said so. He told me you were waiting for him at the station. This is silly. So, where did Tanya go? That's it. No, Tanya! No, 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 no! Please, no! Please, no, please, no, please, no. That's it. Tanya. He's here. I knew you weren't dead. No. Because we've only just met. Prayed. When I opened my eyes, Sasha was standing there waiting to give me the good news. I think he loves you even more than I do. She loves him. Tell off. Oh no. 
to the proper military authority. So do the city Zaitsev has attempted on several occasions to <gasps> escape his duties. Whoa. Once again, you knew exactly where to find me. I don't hold it against you, Sasha. We're both soldiers. He's just a boy. I'm annoyed with you for not staying at home as I made you swear to do, for obliging me to do what I'm going to have to do. Please, no. You lost your son. Think about his mom. You've been snoring away happily for hours like a pig. On the train, I saw you. You were reading and you fell asleep. Oh, I didn't dare look at you. You were so beautiful. I couldn't stop thinking about you. Of all the men who would get to hold you. Holy crap. And now I'm the one lying next to you. <sighs> was I snoring? Like a pig. I just want the war to be over and make him look happily ever after. He loved her at first sight. He actually loved her before Danilov. And now Danilov has ruined everything. Sasha. No, 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 no. It's us. No, he wants. I'll get him. I promise I'll get him. Ah. I need you. You have to leave now, Mrs. Filippa. The last of the boats are leaving. He's brought you a pass. This is my Sasha's home. I can't leave. I can tell you something, Mrs. Filippa. Something very difficult to understand. He's betrayed his country. He's with the enemy now. He won't be coming back. Oh my god. He's become a traitor. Poor little thing. What has he done? Is that better? I shouldn't be saying this probably for myself. Maybe it's for the best. You'll be safe. No! <laughs> She's useless. She'll never make it. No, she will. She will. She's my daughter. I beg of you. All right, you two, put this one on the boat. Please, 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 please. What does it say? I am in good health. They are vacuuming me. Keep well, my Sasha. I've been such a fool, this. Yeah, you have. Man will always be man. They will always be rich and poor. Rich in love. She's dead, Vesely. No, she's not. She was on her way back to you. You're a good man, Vesely. You smeared him, though. <laughs> Let me do one last thing. Let me show you where the Major is. No, don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that! I hate everything. <laughs> he killed Sasha? <laughs> If Vasily found out that Sasha was actually betraying Vasily and giving information to the general, Vasily would have never killed a little boy. Months later, February 3rd, 1943. It is an unforgettable day of hope for the people of the Soviet Union. The unconditional surrender of the German Majesty Bailey. He's high. You have to go find him. This is the address of this hospital, comrade. and this is her name. There is no Tanya Chernova. <laughs> I just had to look up a few things before I did this because I didn't want to say really stupid things, but I was right. Nothing to do with the British. They just chose to keep it with British accents, which, which is fine. But that did confuse me for a little at the beginning. But <laughs> I really liked it. I know. Okay, maybe it wasn't historically accurate, but like, you know I'm a sucker for a love story, and then that was part of the reason that people didn't like it, because that was how, you know. But like, come on, the battle was real. And I've watched a lot of movies and shows about World War II, 
and I hadn't seen this perspective from the Soviets. And when I'm thinking about war, and you're thinking the good guys and the bad guys, you can't help but think that in every war movie you watch, right? Depending on who makes it, I guess. But they're still just like scared kids heading into their death. It's like if you read a book and then watch the movie right after. All the little inaccuracies are gonna drive you insane. As someone who's not a historian, I loved the story of it within Stalingrad. So good, so emotional and intense, and you know, you saw love and loyalty and friendship. I thought the war part, like the effects and the sets and all that looked so real and hard to look at, but like it felt very immersive to me. I thought Ed Harris was terrific. The rivalry between the two snipers was seriously intense, but like, I just wish he didn't kill Sasha. I just, he didn't seem like that kind of guy. And I loved the love, okay? I did. It was entertaining and it had kind of a happy ending. <sighs> I would have liked to see one last kiss and reuniting, but Thank you for watching that one with me. Thank you for voting in the poll. And if one didn't win that you wanted to, I'm sure I'll get to it. We're gonna keep doing these more movie Wednesdays. And thanks so much for watching along with me. Have a good night.